Kim's number line is the single most important math visual in classrooms kindergarten through eighth grade. Number lines are the most frequently mentioned math tool in any set of standards. I invented this number line over the years. I'd ask my students to give me factors or to talk about multiples, and my students would look at me like I was speaking a foreign language. I knew that they hadn't made those powerful connections between skip counting, multiples, and factors. The number one skill that guarantees a student's success in middle school mathematics is their ability to factor numbers. The patterns of numbers have to begin and to be developed long before middle school. This visual creates a picture of the growth patterns that start skip by skip counting, extend into multiples, and go into factors. The number line comes in strips from point of origin to 144. It also comes with all the dots to be able to color code the multiples and factors 2 through 12. Kindergarten teachers can build the number line from point of origin to 100 as they count to the 100th day of school. Grades 1 and 2 can build the number line from point of origin to 120, and 3rd and above can build the number line from point of origin to 144. Laminate your number line first, then build the patterns of the multiples with the students by placing Velcro on the back of the dots and on the number line. As you introduce multiples of two, students are going to see a red dot placed above the multiples of two. This starts at the primary level. They're going to see it for a lot of years before those dots become factors. Multiples of five get a yellow dot, and you're going to build it with students as you introduce that multiple and practice skip counting. Multiples of 10 would get a blue dot. Kindergarten and first are going to reinforce twos, fives, and tens. The new multiple for second grade would be multiples of three. They would reinforce twos, fives, and tens and be introduced to the new multiple of threes. If you look at this number line, this is color-coded for the factors 2 through 12. Notice the change in language. I went from talking about skip counting and multiples to now defining the fact that the dot becomes a factor. The number on the number line becomes the multiple of the above factors. You will have enough dots in your bag so that you can put a half dot below each of the factors 2 through 12. I don't want my students memorizing the colors. I want them able to decode the number line by remembering, oh, orange is the color for four as a factor, and yellow is the color for fives. If you look at this number line, you will see prime numbers have only one color dot. Also, I've highlighted a numerator and a denominator of a fraction because this tool is phenomenal for reducing or simplifying fractions by finding common factors. You're looking at a red dot above the numerator of 4 and a red dot above the denominator of 8. That means 2 is a common factor. The greatest common factor would be, as we climb the line, an orange dot signifying that 4 is a factor of both of those numbers. This important visual tool helps students understand number properties and provides the answers to countless math questions. You are not alone in your classroom on the number line. To fully implement this tool, go to the freebie section of my website, creativemathematics.com, and download grade level number line questions. If you discuss the number line with your students through those questions, you'll be amazed at the power that they will show for basic number properties.